Hey there, it's John Boy Rebel 27. Uh, saw a few videos on YouTube about using uh, this muffin mix, this type of muffin mix, to make muffins in your canteen cup. Well, I'm not too big on eating uh, cakes and muffins, things like that, but I do love me some cornbread. So uh, I figured I'd have me some cornbread and some sweet tea this morning. So here's just Martha White cornbread and muffin mix. Just add water or milk. Me, I'm just going to add some water here. Using my little stove, my little camping stove. Uh, I don't take this backpacking with me. It's a little, it's a little bulky and a little heavy. But I got some tin foil there. A little bit of olive oil. Some locust shells that I found. Some sweet tea. These here are some few rocks I stole out of my neighbor's driveway. Got my uh, canteen with my canteen cup and that sort of stuff. And uh, anyways, we're going to start putting this together and see what we got. Alright, got about, I dumped some of this stuff out. So I got about uh, about half of it left. This is just regular cornbread, so I'm going to gonna mix a little bit of sugar. I labeled this sugar so you could see that. Well, I didn't really label it. It was already like that. So, but anyways, I'm gonna add just a little bit in there. Like I said, I've I've seen a few guys on there. Uh, one is Rob from uh, I think it's Canteen Corner or uh, CanteenCup.com, and the other guy was Beast Beast One Two One O One, I think. And uh, they were showing how to how to cook in a canteen cup, so I thought I'd, I'd give it a try. I'm not trying to do anything better than them. I just wanted to show you my my little go at it here. But uh, we're going to shake up that little bit of sugar I put in there. We're going to get this canteen open. and I'm going to have to kind of play with this. Because uh, I don't know exactly how much water to put in there for... Per, um, what I'm using here. The whole bag calls for like two thirds of a cup, but anyways, let me stir this up and I'll get right back to you. Or well, for that matter, I'll just set the camera down and you can watch me stir it. Because that's about the most exciting thing in the world. Oh yeah, it's a little soupy, so I think I probably added a little bit, um, a little too much uh, water to this. Let's add a little bit more. Uh, I'm gonna add a little bit more of this mix to it. Okay. There we go. Looks a little closer like Grandma makes it. Alright, now what we've got to do, what I've got to do now, is I stole some of these rocks from my neighbor's driveway. Maybe they won't mind. I'm just going to drop me a few of them down there. So, um, I was told that these rocks help trap some of the heat in, but I, I don't know. I mean, I kind of see it more as insulating is insulating the bottom of your uh, of the tin foil and the bottom of your whatever kind of cake you're making. I, I kind of see that as more or less insulating it from the heat. I don't know. I may be wrong on that. But anyways, it's, uh, I'm going to unfold this here tin foil and make me a little bowl out of it so I can dump my cornbread mix in there and we'll see how that goes. Alright, I kind of folded my piece of tin foil up there. I'm going to get a little bit of olive oil here. Not I'm not going to use too much. See, I've got just a little bit off. We're going to set this over here and let our little locust shells enjoy that. I'm going to just doing this, just kind of keep from sticking. I think I saw Beast do this. Beast one two one zero one. I think that's his name. So I may be giving y'all guys the wrong name. I don't know. 
I gotta fold this back up, put this back down in here. Alright, y'all hold on, let me fold this back up. Well, it's starting to smell like Grandma's kitchen right now. Turn the heat up a little bit more. So, uh, get this cooking. It's actually starting to starting to mound up a little bit. Oops, if I don't drop the camera, it's starting to mound up a little bit. How well you can see that. Boy, this stuff sure is smelling good. Like I said, it's starting to smell like Grandma's kitchen in here. Or out here. My girlfriend told me I couldn't shoot no more videos until I cut the grass, so I had to get up this morning and I'm not going to show you the upper part of my yard, but this little back area, I had to cut my grass today, this morning. Shame on me. But, uh, anyways, give this another couple more minutes and we'll see how this turns out. Alright, we pulled this off right here. And, uh, we're going to open this up. Gonna tear this off. See what we got. Oh wow, this looks pretty good. Look at that nice. Well, my around. camera battery died there as I was doing this. But anyways, here's what I got. Man, this thing sure does look good. Look at that. I think it's got what one little burnt spot there, and that's not really burnt too bad at all. But man, that thing sure looks good. Look at that. One of that's some some good looking cornbread. Oh wow, that's great. Well, I'm gonna tell you what. That's not near as good as my grandma makes, but uh, that's some pretty good cornbread. Be something simple I could take with me camping, backpacking. I've actually got some left over. I've got a good bit of it left over here. So that's a gallon size freezer bag. So uh, I got probably enough stuff to make two more, one or two more uh, helpings of cornbread there. And that's all I used was my canteen cup, little tin foil, my little stove. Now, like I said, I, I could have done this over a fire, but uh, wood don't grow on trees around here. So, uh, anyways, there's my uh, cornbread and sweet tea. Hope you guys enjoy.